have not done this in a while. Um, what is up you guys? My name is Lena and today's gonna be a new video showing you guys how to do this ink block text animation freeze frame effect. This was actually used in Ben Tiki's last video and it was his ultimate road trip in New Zealand video. It's been a while since my last video. I'm gonna come out with an update video later this week, but for now let's just like start this whole thing off with a tutorial because that's what you guys are all subscribed for and I owe it to you guys. It's been way too long. And we're gonna be doing this effect in After Effects. So let's begin. Okay, so first things first, this effect is kind of just introducing someone to your video. So I kind of wanted to have like a character in it basically. So I just took a clip of me and we're gonna just put my name in there and make this whole effect. Okay, so this is just a clip of me skateboarding through a tunnel. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrub through the video and see where I want my freeze frame to be. Um, so right here looks good, but before I freeze frame this, I'm gonna command D to duplicate the clip. And then I'm gonna right click on the top duplicate layer and go to time and then freeze frames. And then I'm just gonna drag the beginning of the clip so that the duplicated layer just starts on that frame. Okay, now let's just add this cartoon effect. In the video, he had this little cartoon kind of image. So we're gonna go to effects and presets and we're gonna press cartoon. And then we're gonna drag that onto our duplicated layer. Now we can just kind of tweak the settings to make it what we like. So you can just mess around with the uh, different settings on this. I like to keep my detailed radius kind of around like 20-ish and then my threshold at like 12. Um, you can definitely mess around with the settings, but the threshold kind of makes it more of a glowy look, which I don't really like. Um, it kind of just distorts your face, so I don't, I don't want to do too much of that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is mask the layers, but before we do that, we're just gonna press Command D on our clip, and then we're going to use the pen tool and just mask out the person that is in your video. And it doesn't really have to be a good mask. Obviously, this clip is kind of bad because my hair blends in with the background so it's really really difficult to um like know what you're masking but um it doesn't really have to be that good of a mask uh so yeah i'm just gonna do a rough little outline on it and that looks about good and what we want to do with this is just make the freeze frame feel more animated like a video so we are just gonna go to the scale and kind of bring the scale up so what i'm gonna do is go to the beginning of my masked layer press s on my keyboard for scale and then press the keyframe button in the beginning and then go to the end of the clip and we can bring that to either 51 or 52. we can go one up or two up it depends um, I shot this in 4k, which is why my scale is starting at 50, but you might probably have it start at 100 So yeah, go to around 101 or 102. Okay Now another thing you can do is add optics compensation and I'm gonna bring that on my second layer So this is just the background layer. So search up optics compensation put that on our layer What it does is just kind of warps the background So I'm gonna press reverse lens distortion on it And then we're gonna press the keyframe button for field of view in the beginning of the clip and then go to the end of the clip and just bring that all the way up to around 30. We're just trying to make the freeze frame look more alive so you don't want to add too much of the distortion on it. Okay so we can watch it back and it looks pretty good. So now it's time to actually add that text and the ink block effect. So I'm gonna go to my text layer and then just write my name on there. Uh, so now that I have my text on there I'm gonna go and create a camera layer. So I'm gonna go up to layer and then new camera and I'm just gonna press ok on the default settings right now. What we're trying to do with this is kind of animate the text to feel like it's slapped on our clip turn on the 3D camera effect on our text layer. So if it doesn't show up here, we can press toggle switches and modes, and then we can press that little cube. And so this turns on the camera. Now we can adjust the X, Y, and Z axes on the text layer. We're gonna need to add some keyframes and stuff. So let's begin with that. So first things first, I'm gonna press the drop down for the text and then go to transform. And then I'm gonna press the keyframe button for the scale, position, X, Y, and Z rotation. But we're gonna do that like two frames after the beginning of 
the clip and then we're just gonna go to the beginning of the clip and we're kind of just gonna rotate this so it comes from the left and like slaps on this also is just like a personal preference you can make the text get slapped on from like the right side left side or whatever you want okay so that looks pretty good I'm just gonna make it a little faster so I'm gonna drag all my keyframes to a little bit earlier in the clip now let's add some motion blur so I'm gonna press that motion blur button which is like the three little circles and it turns on the motion blur in the clip and the last thing we need to do is add that little ink block effect so I got this from video blocks but you can probably find something like this on YouTube or something so yeah it's currently a black and white ink block but we're gonna be able to adjust the colors so I'm just gonna first scale this down to around 42 and I'm gonna drag it so that it is under the text layer and our mask clip kind of bring it under the text and then we're gonna want to remove the white part of the ink block so I'm gonna go to luma key and I'm gonna change the key type to key out brighter and it automatically takes out that white part so we're just left with that ink block now I'm just gonna add some color onto this because I don't want it to be black so I'm gonna search up colorama in the effects and presets and I'm going to adjust the color so that it's like a blue color if you don't want to make it like a harsh solid what I suggest is changing the blending mode to color burn and personally I think this just looks a little bit better and that's kind of how Ben TK did it in his video as well and yeah if you want to adjust the color you can go to face shift and just like drag it around the little dial I'm gonna want the ink block to start where my text is slapped on so I'm just gonna bring my ink blot layer clip and drag it later in the timeline and that is pretty much it for the this effect, I, that's that's it. So I don't even remember how to end off my videos because it's literally been so long. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see. I have some videos planned out. I'm going to be uploading kind of a lot in the next few weeks. I'll see you guys really, really soon. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.